hi everyone in this video I'm going to write a snort rule and uh, I will send a random data with the help of Kali Linux machine to this Windows 7 machine I will use it as a signature to write a snort rule so let's start so here is data uh, data would be 10 bytes long so this is this is 10 bytes long uh, you can count it would be 10 characters long including space character so let's see how so I will send this data with the help of hping3 here this here is the command like uh, hping3 and p used for port number and d is for data how many data how many bytes you want to have to, you want to send I am sending 10 bytes and the path of uh, here is the file here is file name I have created file so let's send and c for the count how many packets you want to send so let's see I, uh, I will send three packets and here in this machine my Ubuntu the snort is already installed so let me open Wireshark that is outer interface to this one interface and this LAN is ENS33 and WAN is ENS34 and uh, the IP addresses are same as I have mentioned here in this topology. I have my Kali, Kali machine having this IP and my window machine having this IP. So let's check. So send this packet now and we'll capture it. Only three packets. So here in this packet you can see the 10 byte long data here and which is hacker space 128 and payloads, data payload starts from here and this above part is TCP and this IP header and Ethernet and frames and our data actual payload starts from here so snort will start from uh, like when I will write the rule snort will check and start from here it will take only payload so let's write the rule so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna uh, copy this uh, hexadecimal in the form of hex, uh, hex dump and this copy here and I will take hexadecimal as a content so this hacker word is 6 bytes long and start from 68 here and ends here 72 so I will have taken this dump and I will select this as a content and the uh, flow would be stateless as TCP handshake has not happened and message you can give any name that's it now next thing is I want to tell snort you can like as I said that snort will only start from like payload and data payload start from here so the hacker word is starting from very beginning so I can tell snort to start from beginning to tell it I can start from offset 0 but if suppose this hacker word would not start from beginning it would would it would appear in the middle of the packet then I can tell snort that please leave this much bytes and start from like start uh, from 15 bytes start from whatever it is so you can tell snort from where to start search in the packet so but in this scenario as I know that hackers start from very beginning so I would give it offset is 0 and how long it go so I want to tell snort do not go so long just uh, go till 6 bytes because as I know that it is only 6 bytes long so I would mention depth 6 here so it will go till 6 bytes long so after this if I want 
to tells not to look for also 128 number that is 31 32 and 38 then I can tell it like this content this and distance is equal to 1 and within 3 why I'm mentioning this distance 1 and within 3 because it's not will go for this content relative to this previous match once it match the like once it verified the previous content it will go for the second content but how like this it will go it will leave the one byte I told I will tell it's not to leave the one distance one so it will leave the one byte and then look for the this content within three bytes so it will go leaving one byte one space then look for the this content and within three bytes because it's three bytes long so I must need to mention precisely accurately because it would be better for the rule performance it's not rule performance so now next is SID that's it let me check one I need to remove this also this should not come and uh, everything is fine okay this is need to correct this within okay one thing is important I want to mention here that I have removed the offset 0 because there is no need to mention offset 0 because it is already set if you do not mention any offset if you leave this blank then offset 0 is by default on in not. and other thing is that uh, these are the modifiers this distance within offset and depth these are the modifiers and if you will not mention this distance and within after this the second content then if I will remove this then it is like then offset then offset 0 would be considered in this place then snort will go back at very beginning of the packet and look for this content so search for this content will not continue after this so and then snort will consider it is either as a like new uh, content and will go back at very beginning of the packet to search this content if I will remove this too okay it seems everything is fine now okay I close it let it run again okay now I need to set in alert mode within console so now it's running let's close it close it also let's check let's see now you can see we got the alerts here you can see here okay now what is next uh, I have uh, this Windows 7 machine and I have downloaded the exploit because my Windows 7 machine is vulnerable it has this vulnerability you can find on internet detail about it so I have just downloaded the exploit here so I will run against my Windows 7 machine let's run so it is here on the desktop and in written in Python so giving my machine's IP address that is same same so you know you can see the machine is down so I have already made a rule for this 
and but I need to enable the snort into IPS mode so once I will enable the snort into IPS mode then I will also able to prevent this uh, exploit against my Windows 7 machine so let me show you I have enabled the snort into IPS mode to prevent this exploit so I have also rule for this to stop this now let's copy this and paste here so let's see if I will get the alert So now Snort is running in IPS mode and Windows 7 machine is running. Let's ping first. Okay, ping is coming. Now let's start this again and you will see Windows 7 is down. So now what I need, I need to also capture the packet. Wireshark is already running. So let's run it again and start this not but before starting change the rule action from here to drop. So now that's it. Now run snot again and Windows 7 is running very well and now start the exploit again now you can see it will not work okay now windows is still running and this many times i have launched the exploit and and at same time the snort has prevented it so again if i'll do it no nothing will happen to windows 7 machine so this is uh, and also i have captured the packets okay so in the packets if you go and check from there the connection has been initiated so handshake has happened here and now this one at fourth uh, packet this is the payload which is sent by Kali Linux so look at this payload so now you can see uh, definitely snort will avoid these four fields above till TCP protocol because the payload starts from here so snort will look for the signatures from this from from uh, this pack like from this segment so let's copy this in a dump, dump file yes. copy here okay and it starts from this one as I shown you from there so I know from here so let me remove this part okay if you go and check the rule how what are the, what are the signatures you can look and show you so now I can show you if you go and check uh, I have mentioned that look for this content this content is this this one after looking this content till depth 2 because it's 2 bytes long only then look for this content that is only E0 and look for the E0 after distance 3 within 1 so th after leaving distance 3 1 2 3 look for E0 which is within 1 byte definitely did it because it is 1 byte long and then look for this content again 0 3 from distance 0 without without leaving any byte look for this content so it will go on looking for this content from here 
and once it will reach there it will find this content and then I have mentioned that then also look for this content after this match look for this content after distance 3 within 1 byte definitely because it is 1 byte long so leave the distance 3, three bytes 1 after leaving 3 bytes you can find this F0 F0 so then after that look for this content after 1 byte distance 1 within 2 because it's 2 bytes long leaving leave the distance 1 yes 1 then you will find this byte 2 bytes and what's next the next is after find for this content after leaving distance 3 3 bytes and you can and look for this content within 10 bytes as this content is 10 bytes long after leaving 3 and look for this content this definitely this content which is 10 bytes long so this is the signature which I have uh, which is in rules so if there is any little small like movement in distance then this tool will not trigger if I will mention here 4 or 5 look for distance look for after leaving 5 bytes then definitely it would not find this content this one then snort will not trigger the rule so this is uh, let me show you if I do some changes here if I do 5 here instead of 5 3 ins instead of 3 I will mention 5 look for 5 definitely will not find let's start the snort again and the machine is on and let's start it let's see so you can see machine is down and don't nothing happen if I again change to 3 look for the after distance 3 bytes and once not again this time you will see the alerts 3 times now you can see so in the snort rules signature must contain the data or code which reflects the cause of exploit I mean that the signatures must contain the code or data which is responsible for the exploit and the payload otherwise there is no use of snort rules and for the reference you can go to this blog to find out more about offset and depth and distance and within thanks